Okay, let's make a garden flag. Start by surging around the edges and then fold that surged line down one time and fold it one more time. The idea with this nylon is that you want to completely encase your raw edges because it will unravel. It's a nightmare. And that's all I did was I went all the way around this flag, folding it down once and then folding it down again. And I just used the width of my surged seam. And now here I am making the pocket for the holder to slide through, but I'm not pinning it. I don't want to put any extra holes in this fabric. So I am taping it. I fold it down two inches and add a piece of tape to hold it in place. It only takes a couple pieces. This flag's not very wide. I believe 12 inches, 12 by 15. I do believe is our finished size. And you'll have to check the post to double check that for me. And then as I go to sew this, all I do is peel up the piece of tape as I go along. Make sure you backstitch here. You want everything to hold nice and tight. And then just grab that piece of tape, slip it off. And I don't pin very often. A lot of times you can hold your fabric nice and tight and keep things in place and then just shoot straight across. Peel up the tape, backstitch to close your end. And now we're ready for the fun part where we get to decorate this. This is pretty easy to sew up just a blank garden flag. I'm sure you can make several of these in a day once you get the hang of it. So I measure right now it's 13 wide by about 15 and a half tall finished size. And the reason I measured that was so I could get a rough idea of how big I wanted to make my design. And I wanted this one to say life is better on a porch swing. One, because it is. And two, because this was a flag for summertime. So I sized out my design and then all I'm doing here is double checking to see where that'll fit. So nine inches, that gives me a nice little cushion around it, but it fills the flag nicely. So about nine by 12 is roughly the size of it. And all I did here was send it over to my Cricut. This is a Cricut Explore Air. I did speed this video up for you. It doesn't go that fast normally, but it actually is a lot of times quite calming and relaxing just to sit back and watch it do its work. And since this is heat transfer vinyl, you're cutting on the back side. So you need to remember before you press cut to mirror your design. That way when you go to put it on the flag, it will be facing the right direction. Also worth noting is this vinyl is not my normal heat transfer vinyl that I use. It is one that is made for nylon. I don't want to melt my flag when I apply the vinyl. And I found this from a place called Happy Crafters right here in West Virginia. So that was pretty cool. Okay, so it's about done cutting. Spit it out, grab the hook, and then you're going to go through it and weed out everything you don't need. This part used to drive me crazy, but actually it's pretty satisfying to watch now. Although some designs are a bit more frustrating than others to try to clean up. This one's not bad at all. I'd like to take out all of the inside pieces first. It's just something random that I do. And then I'm not as likely to miss them when I peel off the outside piece. But I also like to hold it up and double check. Because once you stick it on there, you're stuck with what you've got. So after I weighted it, I put it on the flag. I did not iron it down. Normally I do that with my t-shirts, but not with the 
nylon. Put it in my heat press. I followed all of the instructions that came with this particular vinyl. And that's what I'm going to caution you to do as well. I gave it just a quick press, just so I can peel that cover sheet up. And then I give it one more good press, but again, I don't believe it was very long and not at very high heat. Always follow the instructions on your vinyl and pay attention to your fabric content. I also love these cover sheets from Expressions Vinyl. So give that another zap. You'll notice my counter on my heat press. I think it's only in there maybe 10 seconds. And I should be popping that open. Yep. All right, and we have a finished garden flag. Go put that outside and check it out. Thanks for watching.